Enjoyed it. Shitty people. Shitty house. Shitty food. Shitty. I'm gonna have a hangover. A shitty hangover. Thought you admired Naomi. Which was Naomi? Last time you said her hair shone like moonshine. The albino knee dress with the dirndl skirt and the cufflinks. Last time I was drunk. Suggested I brush mine more often to achieve the same scintillating magic. You asked me why I tried to look like a mouse. You a mouse? It's impossible. More like a tiger. Rawr. morally wrong with admitting that I hated a party. <laughs> Don't be silly. You know, this boring preoccupation with hair. Couldn't we for once have a little straightforward wifely sympathy? <laughs> Sorry I had a bad time, Michael. No, no, I see we couldn't. Yeah, I'm sorry you had a bad time, Michael. Actually, I was trying to cheer you up. Not always trying to cheer me up. It's a very bad habit. Sometimes man doesn't want to cheer up. What I want is to go to sleep as soon as possible in the arms of my beautiful raven-haired wife. I manage you for your dark beauty. Let's go to sleep then. You're easing into the land of Nod. I just happened to mention as casually as such a shitty party deserves that I hadn't enjoyed myself. I expected sympathy, even agreement. I got a harangue about hair. Hair? What possible interest could I have in hair at 2.30 in the morning? I suppose if I'd said it was a hairy party, you might have agreed. But I just don't agree. It may not have been a marvellous evening. If it wasn't marvellous, couldn't you have stretched its non-marvellous qualities a bit further and agreed with me for a change? Not in my nature to lie. Your nature's taken up with proving I'm wrong. Let's go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep now. See if Dawn can throw some light on the proceedings. Dawn doesn't come up till five. That's another contradiction. Take it as a symbolic dawn. I'm sorry. Being sorry doesn't make you virtuous. It makes you even more irritating. I'm not sorry. I agree with you, Michael. Don't agree Don't with you me. Keep saying I do not want pretense agreement. You're hurting me. Good. You hurt me all the time. I can't talk to you. You won't talk to me. So what else can I do? Don't be so silly. Don't call me silly. You're drunk. That's not the point. Of course, I'm drunk. Maybe drunk. That's not what's irritating me. I'm even more irritated in the daytime. More self controlled. 
Well, that isn't dawn. What is it? Street lamp. Moonshine. I'm zonked. You hurt me. You shouldn't hurt me. Huh? You hurt me. I'm sorry, darling. My queen of the night. <laughs> That's all right. I know you don't mean to. Hmm? Wish you wouldn't, though. Not to hit your sister. Big boys like you don't hit little girls. She's so annoying. I'm trying to work. I know she's annoying, but that's no reason to hit her. I'm not annoying. He won't even play with me. He's bigger than you. He doesn't always want to do the same things you do. I hate him. I hate you too. Harry! He's so bloody to me. And if I wasn't as tough and desperate as I am, I'd have got rid of him too sweet. Even the greatest love has to draw the line somewhere. How is he bloody? What does he do? Oh, he arranges to take me out to dinner at 8.30, rings up at 9 to say he's not coming till 9.30, rings up at 10 to say he's not coming till 10.30, rings up at 11 to say he's not coming at all. Nothing special. I don't think you can draw the line there. Oh, I won't. I'm the sort of woman who wouldn't know the Maginot line. <laughs> <laughs> no pride. <laughs> Is it pride? No instinct for self-preservation either. Oh, sometimes I think it's just basic good manners he lacks. Or perhaps his mother never told him that women are human beings too. Perhaps he doesn't know what it feels like to you. Perhaps he doesn't know he's hurting you. He could learn. No one at work would treat me for a moment as he does. Wouldn't dare. I think men often don't know what they're doing. They don't analyze themselves the way women do. <laughs> that would be unmanly. <laughs> I used to ask Michael what he was thinking. I never do now. I mean, one of the things I like about Michael is his good humor. You can rely on him to turn up when he's expected, crack a joke, even open a door or two. That's a real man, not a... a toad. <laughs> People talk a lot about motives, but in the end, it's what a man actually does that counts. You're lucky. Well, I'm not jealous, so somebody's got to be lucky. You're the last remaining friend of mine who's still married to the man she first married. How are the children? Does Harry still like his intellectual millionaire's school? He loves it. They do quarrel, though, Harry and Amy, I mean. Not all children quarrel. Sometimes they sound as if they hate each other. It's just because they don't hate each other they can behave like that. Of course they love each other, really. It's just relaxation. I bet they don't treat their school friends like that. No. They sound so brutal sometimes. Amy screams. Harry. It's nearly three. I must get back. Secretaries never come back at all if I don't. I'm picking up Amy. Ah. Why are boys more aggressive than girls? I can't believe it's something in their nature. Or energy. Sometimes I despair. Sometimes you're a terrible old fusser for one who looks so calm. Tell Harry to direct his aggression onto a cushion.
an injection today. Ooh. Oh, hello. Hello. Bye bye. Nice day. Yeah. I did a painting of a garden and a fountain. Six Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? What else did you do? We call a teacher Miss Dirty. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I think Harry should be watching that. Don't know that noise, Harry. Your mother is trying to communicate. Don't you think it's too violent? Did you what the world's about? His age. I had the real thing. The war was on. Boom, boom. Just cowboys and Indians, dear. Didn't see real violence in the war. I saw bombs dropping. Did you ever see one human being hurting another? Did my national service have told you about that? I did not Well, I won't now. I hated it. Isn't that enough? What is this? An interrogation? Just wondered. You get angry with me. What are you talking about? One minute we're discussing Harry's TV viewing, and the next minute I'm facing some sort of accusation. I know it's an accident. You take this beer, I need a whiskey. too much. Ellie came to lunch today. Mm -hmm. She's got a new man. Ah. Marriage prospects. <laughs> she called him a toad. <laughs> Ellie always had spirit. She admires our marriage. I say she should. I'll join Harry. Let the programme for you. How many women have their husbands home on the dot of six? Can that be our doorbell? Anyone? You don't want anyone. If you don't answer it, they'll go away. <laughs> Ever the optimist. I'll answer it. Tell them they've coitus interrupted. They won't believe that. No. No, you're probably right. Tell them I'm ill. Why don't you go to the door? Well, how can I say I'm ill if I go to the door? All right, I'll go. See that look on your face, they won't stay long. I'm thinking of changing jobs. Oh. <laughs> He's joking. <laughs> He's doing terribly well. There's no one above him this side of the Atlantic. <laughs> Why do you think I'm joking? This side of the Atlantic. <laughs> Anyone for another drink? Mm, please. You know, Pammy's worst habit is a refusal to believe bad news. Everything has to be going very well all the time. I'm afraid I am infuriatingly optimistic. If I broke my leg, you say it was all for the best. I'd probably say the rest would do him good. <laughs> well, it would do him good. I'm the opposite. Delighted to have an excuse for weeping and wailing. Before I met Pamela, I was a very cheerful person. That's what I liked about him. That was fun, after all. You weren't very nice to me. What? I'd enjoy this evening. 
rude to me in front of them. What do you mean I wasn't rude? If anything, you were rude to me. When I brought up the extremely serious subject about changing jobs, you laughed. Laughed like a supercilious hyena. I'm not serious about that. I choose to appear to be serious in front of other people, then it's your job to support me. Not to make fun of me. Would you like me to bind my feet too? A wife should support her husband. It's basic loyalty. Didn't mean to make fun of you. As a matter of fact, I haven't much sense of humour at the moment. That's true, anyway. Excuse me. No. For once, I bloody well won't excuse you. Actually, it didn't hurt me at all. I was just shocked. You fainted. It's the noise. And Amy screaming. I was frightened. Now you're going over the top. The truth is, we were both trying to push through the doorway. Too much whiskey makes children of us all. It was kind of you to bring up breakfast. And make the children theirs. supper. I'll be back late anyway. Any consolation to you? An almighty headache. For you. All right, then. Still a bit ashen. Perhaps you're anemic or pregnant or something. Why don't you go and see the doctor? Just a malingerer. Have a good day, darling. Hello, sister. This is the one that we told you. Well, it's been about. It's all right. Lie still. Lie still now. It's been about quarter of an hour, twenty minutes. Well, there's nothing wrong with you. You don't seem quite well. Is there something you haven't told me? Your period's regular. Perhaps you're pregnant. I'm not planning another child. Faint for strange reasons. You don't often faint, do you? No. I'm afraid I'm wasting your time. I felt guilty when I saw all those people out there with real problems. It's Michael's idea I came. How are the children getting on? Oh, they're very well. They do fight a lot. More than children usually do. <laughs> Probably not. But it worries you. I've always been afraid of violence. My mother never touched me. I try not to hit the children. I think my mother was overreacting against my father. Go on. What was it about your father? I find it very difficult to talk about this sort of thing. My mother didn't encourage it. My father died when I was young. But I have an image of him. As big and loud. Look, if it would help, I could talk to the children. Or I could even recommend you to a child psychiatrist. No, oh, it's not that bad. Anyway, Michael would never have that. <laughs> Just wanted to talk to someone about it, I think. Feel better already. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance. No, no, no. I'd like to see you again in a month's time. You let me know if anything happens. 
Really, there's no need. Please. And bring Amy along as well. And ask for an appointment on the way out. Try not to be so worried. Children change from devils to angels in the course of a day. Thank you. Climb every mountain, follow every star. She was very sympathetic. Didn't make me feel I was making a fuss. Middle class guilt syndrome. It's not making a fuss to see your doctor when you faint. She wants to see me again in a month's time. I suppose she thinks I'm a bit run down. She wants me to bring Amy. Hardly call Amy run down. <laughs> so, the little darlings are the problem then, are they? No, not really. We're out most of the day. For what it is, really. I expect it is the kids. How would you like to dump them somewhere? Come off for a dirty weekend. Hotel by the sea. Recreate our youth. What's the point of being successful if you don't spend the money? It's years since I've been to Brighton. Good evening, madam. Good, Good evening, evening, sir. Good evening. Here's your menu for dinner. Thank you. <laughs> you can yeah. have a starter. Yeah, not half. Let's <laughs> do the whole thing. Come on. Um, like White bait. Mm. Have something different. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make this. You never do. <laughs> no, Come on, I bet you're Benedict. Here, you got it. <laughs> 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 I don't know why you want to work. Sheer perversity. Most people in the world are longing not to work. It's not a question of working versus not working. I work when I'm at home. You'd have to pay someone to clean if I didn't do it. Well, don't go up women's lib on me. It doesn't suit you. You're a beautiful, gentle, sometimes efficient wife and mother. If I had a job, I could pay someone to clean the house. I was a good teacher. I really was. Yes, and you were pleased as hell to throw it up and we got married. I don't pretend it was a sacrifice. You'd more sense then. I don't want to argue. I don't want to argue. Who started this argument? I'm sorry. Why am too? Mm. Big loud mouth, that's what I am. <laughs> you want to join the rat race? You go ahead and join it. Carriage, my lady, or feet? Back along the seafront, please, darling.
icy when it's cold and dark and wild. Sounds as if someone's planning to listen in. Don't <laughs> be silly. <laughs> Sounds as if he's got his ear close to the wall. Imagine it's a man. <laughs> Imagining things. I don't like the idea of someone listening to us. It's not as if you made much noise. Don't be fuck. Don't be bourgeois. You're behaving like a shrieking virgin. Look, if somebody's really listening, let's give him his money's worth. It's perfectly natural not to like the idea of being spied on. You little bastard! What are they here? I want him to hear. He's coming between me and my wife. It's embarrassing. I just can't please you. You can. You know you can. Let's forget about him. Come here. Oh, typical, it's typical, isn't it? You upset everything, then you go all soft and sorry and expect me to be able to carry on where I left off. What you see now is an abject picture of detumescence. I can't change what I feel. Then you should try. Why should I try? You don't try to change yourself. I don't try, of course I bloody try. Why do you think I banged on the bloody wall? You think I like getting out of bed and banging on bloody walls in the middle of the night? You are spoilt. You've as much guts as a starfish. You sit around all day at home doing bloody nothing and then come whining and moping to me in the evening about being tired and upset and a bit run down. That's all you are, a typical spoilt middle-class bitch. Diane, that's what you made me. I'm nothing. I'm just a servant and nanny and mistress in your house. You don't care about me at all. You don't know me! Violence, is it? I thought you didn't like violence, so now you're trying to hurt me. I'm not. I'm just trying to make you realise how miserable I am. Miserable? Miserable, is it now? Miserable? When I give you everything? Miserable? Don't I give you everything? Yes, yes, I know you do. It's probably my fault. Typical bloody typical. I gotta beat your bloody dress together like a bloody merry-go-round. Now oh, take your hands off your face and stop crying. <laughs> stop crying! Stop crying! You look revolting. <laughs> I don't know I do. Don't look at me like that. Oh, it's okay, love. Try and lie still, all right? Just go put something over your head now. Lift your head for me. Come on, up you come. That's it. Okay. Just Keep try and lie still, okay? You'll be all right in a minute. I'm sorry, Pam. I'm sorry. Oh, good God. What have you done? Hold on. I'll get a towel. Do you think it's broken? I feel sick. You shouldn't lie on your back and pinch the top of your nose or something. Uh, if I lie on my back, I'll swallow the blood. I'm sick. Should I get you a doctor? I don't think it's broken. 
Not that I can really feel anything. Maybe it looks worse than it is. It couldn't look worse than it does. Was that a little hotel thing? It's the first virgin bride they've seen in years. I think real drama suits you. You just made a joke. No. Didn't need a doctor then. I don't think it's broken. Have we got any aspirin? Have a look. Uh, Dr. Seltzer, dude. If it doesn't spurt out of my nose. Sleep in these sheets. There is a night porter. No, thank you. Let's take them off. Look, you lie on the floor. I've ever seen you make a bed. You know, I didn't mean to hurt you. That was self defense. You attacked me. I'm sorry. I hope it isn't broken. Them off now. They must think we're cannibals. the way to look at you oddly. Didn't give him a chance. You must be the only person capable of getting two shiners for the price of one tiny tap on the nose. The nose looks quite normal. A lot of blood in that area. If it hit me on the arm, it wouldn't have happened. I didn't hit you. I was trying to stop you hitting me. I did like you in dark glasses. Do you feel terrible? Worse than terrible. Perhaps we should go home. Hard to pretend to be on a second honeymoon with you looking like this. A quiet weekend at home without the kids. You can rest. Hope everyone doesn't think I clonked you. Yeah, we 
so enjoyed our stay, but unfortunately my mother's not very ill. I mean, not very well. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. My God, what did it cost four pounds? Well, that was the steak you had for breakfast. Find the sheets. Should be proud of them. Well, that steak costs four pounds. We should have asked them to cook it. Have a nice picnic lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Murphy. Oh, no, 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 come on. We'll be late for Amy. Amy had dancing lessons on Monday. Buy an ice cream. Good devil. Mm -hmm. Look, look. All right, go on. Hello, Don. Hello, Liz. Hello, Pavel. I ran into a door. Poor you. It does look painful. Actually, I hit my nose. Of course, the worst thing is, everybody always assumes you've been plonked one. I fell over once, gave myself a black eye. My husband's reputation soared. I suppose it feeds the male virility complex. Actually, it quite suits you. Just as well, really. I warn you, mine lasted for weeks. Take care. Let me kiss you better. I must <laughs> say, they're two beauties. I never would have thought Michael had so much zing. I told you, Ellie. Yes, I know what you told me. There's no need to be shy. I only wish the toad cared as much about me. I never liked violence. I'm not talking about violence. I'm talking about passion. Well, then I don't like passion either. <laughs> I left my glasses off in the street and a man looked at me with positively lustful glee. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm beginning to think that pale Madonna face is only a facade. Those black eyes make you look really decadent. Ah, the brute himself. Ah. I've just been telling Tammy. Mm -hmm. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I'm a man of peace. Told her I ran into a door. Some door. Look, I hit my nose. It always goes to the eyes. You know how short-sighted Pamela is? And how like a door you are. <laughs> <laughs> It happened ages ago. I'm fine, thank you. No more fainting. In fact, I'm planning to go back to work. Sounds like a good idea. Listen, let me give you some cream for those eyes of yours. Oh, not worth it now. They're on the way out, aren't they? Well, come and see me tomorrow evening anyway. Six o'clock? I'll try. It's difficult. Try and bring that husband of yours along as well, will you? He's very well. Bye-bye. It's something I know I'm good at. I was good at. And it's something that I can combine with looking after the children. I might even be able to do a full day now. So, but I'm not quite sure that I'm up to that yet. Well, you know, Mrs. Redman, that most of our children come from poor backgrounds. Mm. Sometimes quite rough backgrounds. Well, I did work in a council school before. But not in this area, I think. No, but that doesn't put me off. The truth is, Mrs. Redman, I'm a bit disturbed about Amy at the moment. She seems very tense. I wonder if it might be a mistake for you to teach in the same school. It could make for a complicated division of loyalties. You mean she's behaving badly? Oh, I don't like to put it in those kind of moralistic terms. But her class teacher has said that she's difficult. 
He's alternately aggressive and clingy. It's the sort of thing we would normally expect from a child from a deprived home. Now, of course, that's not the case with you. No. No. But maybe there is some little tension. Children sense these things amazingly quickly. No, I can't think what it could be. I am bored at home. Which is why I wanted to take up teaching again. I quite see that you wouldn't want to take on someone who caused more problems. Oh, now, please, don't take it like that. Amy can be a charming, outgoing child. And then suddenly she'll fly at someone. Someone she likes. Our little girls go through these phases. I'm sure she'll grow out of it. But for the moment, I'd advise you not to restart your career. Perhaps you should leave it for a term or two. Now, if you're very keen, I'll have another word with her class teacher. Yes, well, I'll think about it. You do that. There's a great pressure on women to go back to work now, you know. And it's not always the most sensible thing. Have you got any pain anywhere? Can it's you tell me? Cellar. Can you lift this leg up for me? Lift this leg? OK. Can you move the other leg? All right. OK, I'm just going to take some blood from you now. Saw Dr Mundy in the street today. She stopped her car. Asked how I was. She wants to see you sometime. What? Dr Mundy said she'd like to see you sometime. Me? The great guru in person? Nothing wrong with me. Could always do with more love and understanding in 12 hours sleep, but then who couldn't? Why should I go and see her? Don't know. She saw my eyes. Your eyes? Did they go all bionic? <laughs> Why weren't you wearing your dark glasses? I'm bored of the Swedish winter. You're not suggesting she thought I did it. You did, didn't you? I'm not suggesting anything, I'm just telling you what she said. I don't hate these women doctors having a go at psychiatry. I don't need that, thank you. What I need is a bit of sympathy. She's very sympathetic. You know, you think about yourself too much. Mm. Why don't you just get on with living? I found it wasn't so bad. I haven't enough to do. I went to the school today. Did what? Went to Amy's school. Had a talk with the headmistress. You seem to have been doing a lot of talking to a lot of people today. I told you I was going to take up teaching again. Oh, typical. That is typical of a woman. One minute you're complaining about feeling ill, passing out all over the place, grousing to the doctor, and the next you're talking about taking up a job. And you didn't brush your hair before breakfast. Get a decent supper. Stay up after 10 o'clock without complaining of feeling tired. I'm There's... not complaining of feeling tired. I haven't for ages. Not since I was pregnant. You don't exactly receive my advances with a welcome sign, do you? Not always. I'm not a machine. What about our lovely honeymoon weekend in Brighton? Pretty well fixed that, didn't you? I didn't do anything. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Well, it certainly wasn't mine. I wanted us to have a good time, like we used to. I took you to the best restaurant in Brighton. I'm tired. There you are, tired. What's the time? It's not even 11. It's quarter past 11. Oh, 11 or quarter past. What's the difference? I thought you just said you were tired. I just want to read a page of this and then I'll go to sleep. Every night it's the same. And how was my patient sort of man? I'd be getting a bit fed up. 
You don't want to go out. You don't want people to come here. If I could just have one night off. Twelve hours sleep. No husband. No children. I'd be all right. I've got all day to sleep. I should be the one who's tired. I admire your energy. I really do. If I could just go away for a while. Take the children. I could go to Mummy's. I can't stand your mother. She thinks you're marvellous. Bully for her. Look, I'm not asking you no, to stand her. Argue, argue, argue. sometimes think if you weren't so energetic, I wouldn't be so tired. You'd be more tired if you work. She's never come up to me. You're awake enough when it comes to Amy. You have to be for a child. You can't let a child cry. Did you say no to your husband? I haven't said no. Yeah, would you like to? Just try to be nice to each other. Get a hold of this ball. That's it, right. That's it, this way. Hang on to it, Harry. Hang on to it till we get through the truth. Wee! Right, let's see. Hey! I have a Harry, you come and take the spool. Now, if you pull, keep, keep pulling downwards, that's it. Like that. Against the wind. That's it. A bit more. If you pull down. Mm -hmm. That pull, like that, gently. Now, there, that's oh, better, so really that's good. better. <laughs> <laughs> let me have a go. Oh, oh come cool. on, let me have a go. It's all right now. Look, both hands, maybe. Both hands. That's it. Pull. That's Quite it. Pull good. again. That's it. Now, let's some more out. Yeah. <laughs> Darling, I'm sure you're exaggerating. And you know one would believe it. Not with Michael. Everyone thinks he's so attractive and charming. 
<laughs> he is. Oh, I don't know why I tried to tell you. Darling, have you thought? I mean, there are men who like this sort of... Well, you mustn't take it too seriously. No, Mother, it's not a sexual thing. I didn't really think. He's quite gentle that way. It's not that. It's something about me that irritates him. He hits me instead of talking to me. Perhaps he's unhappy himself, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't bother to hit me if he didn't love me. <laughs> I sometimes think it'd be better if I fought back, but... I can't do that. Of course you can't. So I just take it and let him pretend it was an accident and say it didn't mean anything. Didn't my black eyes mean anything? Oh, dreadful, dear. They must have been quite something. Didn't you run for the steak? Yeah. You're like everyone else. I think it's a joke. But I'm frightened. The children know. Amy's upset. I had mistress says she's upset. And Harry. Harry's so rough. Little boy's always rough. No, it's not that sort of roughness. He's mean. It's something he's copied from Michael's attitude to me. And yet he's so good with the children. Better than me in some ways. He's taking them out flying kites now. I never seem to have time for that sort of thing anymore. Hello, darling. What a nice surprise. Did you have a good time? Was there enough wind? I can't stay long. Let me drive you to a part. Looks as though you're having a very interesting conversation. Uh, about fertilizers, wasn't it, Pam? Not very interesting, I'm afraid. I really must go and get the children their tea. You must be starving too, Michael. Are you staying, Mother? Well, then you can continue your not very interesting conversation about fertilizers. Uh, no, I'll. Just say hello to the children and then I wash you off. You obviously gave the children a wonderful time. I thought you wanted a quiet afternoon gardening. I didn't expect, Mummy. <sighs> Don't you think you should cut off the old rose head? Is that a subtle reference to Mummy? It's a purely horticultural question, I assure you. It's on my list of things to do. Somewhere below making tea and above making love. How's work? You seem restless lately. Bloody awful. No security working for Americans. <laughs> Can't be that bad. And it's no help to have you rubbishing me behind my back. We're talking about the children. You realise we haven't christened either of our children. But if you don't want to know about the job, why do you ask me? I need a drink. You certainly need a drink at the end of the day. I need one now. You'd listen if I told her the job was wonderful. You don't like me being involved in your work. Did you say I gave you those black eyes? I suppose crying to mummy makes you feel better. Sometimes I'm frightened. Frightened? For me? You can't be frightened of somebody you've known for over ten years. What's the matter with you? You're heading for a breakdown. I know it sounds silly, but you seem to change. What are you going on about? The children are here. If your mother can hear, I don't see why our children shouldn't. 
It's to do with them, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, this water's boiling. You always have something. Can't you stop making tea for the children and talk to me? I'm sorry. Do you know how I hate that frozen junk? When you've got all day, can't you cook them something fresh? Ah! Your stupid cow eyes. <laughs> Daddy, you hit mommy. Shut up. Shut up. Shut, Shut up, all of you. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Just cooking you the peas you like. Is that so lovely there? All right, okay. calm down. Mm. We'll have a look at her head in. Okay. Okay. okay, love, just keep still. Bring your head you forward for around? me. Bring your head back. Come on, rest back for me. That's it. Come on, back you come. <laughs> just lie still. Lie still for us. I feel ashamed of the way I laughed about your eyes. Got to do something, you know that. I have tried to talk to him, but it makes him angry, and I get frightened. I really am pathetic. I'm just as pathetic as he says I am. No, you're not. So difficult to believe it of Michael. It's, it's not as if he was mean like the toad. He honestly thinks it's an accident. No way it is. Not his fault, anyway. just seem to antagonise him. And I can feel myself doing it. I put myself in situations where it's sure to go wrong. It's like standing by that pan of hot water. Why was I backing near that pan of hot water? I must have wanted it to go over me. Oh, that's just junior psychiatry. The point is you're burnt. You've been worried for ages. You've got to make him understand. I know, I'm a coward. I told you, the only thing that will make me is the children. I don't want them ever to see another scene like yesterday. Oh, I don't know why you keep on about the children. You want to start thinking about yourself. Well, Michael says I should stop thinking about myself and start living. <laughs> well, it hasn't been much fun lately. Well, that's no reason for him to bash you up. It's not like that. He loves me. Perhaps I should talk to him. No, no, that would make it much worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, you've got to do something. Frighten him for a change. Tell him you'll leave him if he keeps on. I can't do that. This is children. A minute ago, you were worried about the effect he was having on the children. And where would we go? How would we live? Threaten him again. <laughs> but I love him. <laughs> Look at your arm. You could be had up for a sort. Oh, it was an accident. Usually he's had too much to drink. At tea time? Told you. I give up. You're crazy. Perhaps you really do like it. No, I don't. I don't. But what can I do? He's my whole life. Yeah. Well, I've got to get back to work. Did I tell you the school doesn't want me to teach? They say it may upset Amy. If I were you, I'd book an Easter skiing holiday on my own. So strong. Tell that to the toad.
Dear Doctor Monday It was nice of you to stop the other day Actually I would like to see you This isn't the sort of area social workers usually visit. What a stunning outfit. I can see you made a real effort. What do you mean? going out to a party. Remember? The problem is... You I feel you don't like me anymore. <laughs> How silly can you get? I know we've been married for ten years. <laughs> is that all? People don't usually change after 10 years. But you have. Just gradually. Oh, I'm zonked. If I can't even talk to you in a perfectly ordinary way without you losing your temper. I've always been a pacifist. No. Even went on the Aldermaston march. Did that? <laughs> uh, does anybody march today? All that singing and comradeship. Those badges with their jolly little symbols like upside down crow's feet. <laughs> that was very meaningful. Perhaps I'm exaggerating. Your problem is the understatement. You think so? Mm-hmm. Maybe you're right. That's why I want to work. I'm just magnifying everything. You're magnifying the understatement. Yes. That's it. How'd you turn your light off? Tired. Oh, you're tired. So the light goes off. We were just lying here talking. And suddenly, ping, the lights are out. We we're on the Older Master March. Reliving youthful idealism, and then, ping, the lights just go off. I'm sorry, I'll switch it on. Quite forgotten you weren't undressed. Typical. Totally selfish. It's wrapped up in your own selfishness. But it wouldn't have happened if I'd been that man at the party. One you wanted to bring home. What man? The young man you were snuggling up to on the sofa. With the understanding, sensitive face. I didn't want to bring him home. I simply suggested we might give him a lift to his home. Oh, where might that be, I wonder? Don't be childish. You're pretending not to care now, are you? Go on, you tell me what colour his eyes were. I bet you can remember that. Tell me. I've no idea. Come on, tell me what colour his eyes were. Tell me. I didn't notice. I think he was wearing glasses. You think he was wearing glasses, do you? You don't remember what colour his eyes were, but you think he was wearing glasses. Yes, I think he was. Michael, you're hurting. And do you think I feel so good about seeing you spend the whole evening with somebody else? Obviously enjoying their company a lot more than mine, even looking quite happy, which you never look with me anymore. Do you think that doesn't hurt me? It's not the same thing. You're hurting me physically. Well, so your body is more important than my mind, I didn't is say it? that. I just said that you were hurting. 
look and see if the children are all right. Are those children more important than me? I want to talk to my wife. You think more about those bloody little children than anything. I can't think why you bother to marry me. You should have had artificial insemination. Would have been just as good and you'd probably enjoyed it a lot more too. You dried up old stick you'll become. No interest, nothing. You don't even exist. Oh, you'll wake the children. I'll wake my own bloody children if I want to. Are those children more important than me? What about my work? Ah! Why did you learn? Ah! You're not cruel about my problems, have you? You're not cruel about my problems. Get out of it! No! You're not cruel! Get up! Get up there! Where's my dad? Where did I come home? Nobody cared in bed. Nobody even faced me. You stupid, ignorant, squirt! Oh, God, I don't have any money. You think you're a baby with your own children? Call him with that money? You really say it's like that? Are you in Ambulance. It's my wife. She's been hurt. Mommy, what's the matter? Mommy! Have a nice time. Thank you. Yeah. I'll save you a seat. Mm. Okay, it'll be all right. All right. Do we know any? 
Pamela. Pamela, is it? Yeah. Hello, Pamela. Pamela. Hello. Yeah, you just got any dentures or Okay, we're going to send you to sleep now before your operation, all right? Mm. Just going to give you an injection in the arm. It won't hurt, but it'll make you feel a bit drowsy, all right? Mm. Just want you to keep talking to me while I'm doing it. Mm. Can we have a fire pentone, please, Chrissy? Okay, you should keep talking to me now, all right? It's my fault. It's all my fault. I just couldn't help knowing him. It's my fault. I knew it would irritate him. It's my fault. It's my fault. Okay, can you give a few minutes of oxygen? I'll start to take over now. Some oxygen. That's a bit of a tube. 